Ace Money the name, getting paid by the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E with handicappers. So it's the SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. This is Sportsbook Robbery. It's uh, 9th of October, November, November. Uh, Got to run through this quick. First up, going right back to Chris Paul. He had an off game, one and a half threes. Uh, been cashing for a while. Played his points, uh, nine and a half, ten and a half. I think they got it at 11 and a half now. Just going back to the threes. One and a half threes over six, uh, over in six of his last seven. Uh, he's averaging a couple of them a game. Uh, He's definitely putting up shots. So if he's going to hit his points, he's going to hit his threes. It's my logic. Uh, playing Utah, 22nd, threes allowed. They are better to the guard position. But uh, he's going to get up his shots. Uh, whether he makes them or not, I guess that's up to him, right? Head to head, 67%. Goes back to last year. But, uh, yeah, I got faith in him coming off a day's rest. Had an off game. Uh, but he'll be back playing at home. Let's get it, CP3. Under rebounds, 11 and a half. If you get it higher, if you spend it more money, you can do that. Minus 142. Uh yeah, I started getting this new phase where I think I'm going to start betting some unders. They always got these lines juiced. Uh, what is this, 8 out of 10? 7 out of 9, he's been under this year. He's failed to exceed 10 and a half, 5 of his last 6, averaging 8. You know, they always got these lines juiced, and I'm like, oh, I can't take it. No matter what it is, I can't take it. You know, I don't really like, normally bet unders, but... I'm thinking and trying a different way, so let's give it a shot. Uh, head to head, he's been under. Uh, overall, Utah's ninth, what does that say, ninth or nineteenth? Uh, twenty fifth rebounds. Wow, wow. Forward position ranked twenty fourth, but uh, it's been going under it, so let's get it. Under, under, under. Rebounds the other day worked out real well. They got it at four and a half. You could possibly do that. I like his points. He's been going over them. He got it like ten and a half. I decided to put them together. I outlined it down a little bit, so it's at fourteen and a half. So instead of the ten and a half plus the four and a half, you know, it's like ten plus four. He should be able to go over this. Uh, I played this the last three games. Getting a decent amount of rebound chances. Uh, Playing decent minutes and uh, shooting the ball pretty well these last few, over 50%. Uh, he's exceeded 15 and a half points and rebounds in four of his last five. Like I said, I brought it back a little bit. Uh, I always like to do that, but uh, yeah, let's get it. Let's drink some, sipping on some champagne. All right, last but not least, uh, Vukovic. Uh, over points and assists, 20 and a half, uh, minus 152, FanDuel, 7 out of 9 for the year. Uh, it's balanced between his points, or they got it like 18, or uh, his assists. I realize he's, uh, he is dishing the ball. He got his assists, I think, at 3 and a half, but when I put it together, I outlined it down a little bit. It just seems to be the best option. Some games he's getting six, three, five, five. Uh, playing Atlanta, they played yesterday. Overall, 28th and 17 uh, to the center position, 13 and 14. So, Vukovic, let's get it. FanDuel was offering high numbers that you can good do unders. So uh, I just messed around and I made a couple of different parlays. Kind of big. I didn't bet that much. 
Uh, I'll just run through it. You could just check it out. Uh, Wemby under 11.5. RJ under 7.5 rebounds. Uh, Grady Dick under 4.5. What a name, huh? Grady Dick. <laughs> Parents must have hated him. Uh, under 5.5. Daniels under 8.5. It's basically a bunch of unders. Uh, I did a couple of them. I just messed around. It's, this one has got some overs. But uh, I just run through it. Show you. It'd be easier than explaining it at all. I just mixed and matched a bunch of shit. Some of them I left some out. I've been noticing what happens is if you kind of put the same people in all the ones, one guy will have a bad day and, and wreck everything. I get lucky occasionally. Having some fun. And then the other plays I dropped. All right, let's get it off. If you could like the video, new viewers, subscribe. Uh, let's get that money. Ace money, the name, getting paid for the game. Let's go.